Good afternoon, good evening, and good morning, YouTuber, YouTubers. I can't even talk today, but anyways, today we're going to talk about seatbelts. This thing. Have you ever gotten to where you're going, and you go to pop your seatbelt, and then it's like, what the hell is this? It doesn't retract. Well, there's a reason for that. It's, and it usually happens in older cars. And what's happening is, is this fabric this is made out of over time. You know, we're sitting in a, a 1999 Ford Ranger with 227,000 on the clock. And what happens is this gets dirty. It gets oils and nastiness from your sweating and all that kind of stuff gets in there and it makes it thicker. So it doesn't go back in. Go back in. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean this and see if that works. I watched a couple of other YouTube videos on this. And people clean them and they say it works. Are we fixing to find out if that's true or not? So let's go do this. Okay, first things first. We're going to have to get this off of there. I'm not sure how this comes off. Does it come down or up? Okay, there we go. Okay, it looks like that's actually loose. Uh, probably 15. I'm not trying to do this one-handed. Since it was fairly loose anyway. Pull this off of here. What we're going to want to do is we want to pull all of this seat belt out. So they won't even retract it at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull all that out. Put some kind of clip on it to prevent it from going back in. Okay, this is fun doing this with one hand. Hold it. Okay, I'm just going to use a binder clip that'll work to get all that nonsense out of there. And then what we're going to do is I mixed up a bucket of laundry detergent and dishwashing soap. So I want to get the oils and the grease and the, the yuckiness out of there. Why is this camera? There we go. And then we're just going to soak this for a while. Of course, you want to get it all in there. much as possible without making a big mess yeah I'm betting that water is going to be really gross I'm using the hottest water I have is full hot water all right we'll come back in about 30 minutes or so and we'll see where we're at with this Okay, yeah, I modified just, just a little bit with a towel because I knew I was going to make a big mess. The water's already starting to turn yucky and it's not even been in there for two minutes yet. What I need to do is invest in one of those things called a tripod. It's supposed to help you hold the camera, I think. I think that's what the device's function is. I could actually do this two-handed. I'm going to scrub this with a brush. Coming back to check on this after about, oh, five, ten minutes. It's just getting more and more gross in there. So this may actually work. If not, we'll have to take the door apart and go through all that down there and see if I have to change the spring or something like that. But I don't think that's going to be necessary. And trust me, I don't want to have to take that door panel off anymore. I already broke half the things that hold it on there because I had to replace the those plastic things that they used to, that they had in there. Unfortunately, I didn't make a YouTube on that because I didn't drill these out. I actually somehow or another finagled. It bent up cotter key in there to, to to set the latch or the locking mechanism. I don't even remember how I did it now. I think I just went in through one of those holes and did it. See, I put the metal ones in there. 
Ford put plastic on there. Why they did that, I guess they figured the truck wouldn't last as long. I mean, they do call Ford uh, found on the road dead. Or Ford backwards is driver returned on foot. But I love a Ford. I, had a, I always had Fords. They usually did a lot better than anything else I've seen. But, all right, this is coming along. I have to let it soak for a little while longer. And one other thing to note here is on one of the videos I saw, they took, like, sandpaper and tried to, like, use it on the D-ring part of it. Well, since mine actually comes completely off, it's in the bucket, so I don't think I have to use that procedure. I'm just going to run the belt back and forth through it several times and get any buildup that's on that off of there. I don't have to use the sandpaper trick, but they use a real fine grain sandpaper if it's one you can't, like, take off. Like, mine, I think they all come off. I don't know. And a Ford, it comes off. So there you go. I can get it in the bucket. Okay, after about 25, 30 minutes here, we just soaked for a while, and that water really looks gross. What I'm actually going to do is just go get another bucket of clean water and kind of rinse it off. And then I'll do the other side, and then we'll let it dry and find out if it actually did. Anything. Okay, now that the seatbelt has been washed, you can actually see it's kind of shiny. But I'm going to dry it the quick way. I'm going to use my shop vac. <laughs> show you how I'm going to do this. Maybe. I still need one of those magical camera stands that have three legs on it. <laughs> Pull that water right on out of that joint. Still a little damp, but it ain't gonna take as long to dry. Of course, I put it on the ground where it's dirty. That's a good job. We'll test it momentarily. Okay, we're back. Now, as you can see, I went ahead to the passenger side too. So now we got the driver's side. I used the shop back trick to kind of dry it out. That worked pretty good. Just if you use that trick, make sure you give your shop back chance to breathe if you hold it under steady the whole way through the belt you might overheat your you may overheat your shop bag anyways let's see if this actually works now and I do this one-handed all right here we go all right take the belt off that is snappy it actually worked Look at that. Goes back every frame. That's all it was. It was just dirty. Imagine that. And I bet you it'll work even better once it completely dries. good as new all it is a simple cleaning guys don't have to spend any money so there you have it and I'll start working on my next video I'm gonna do a review on an LED light for the back up there and we'll see if that's gonna be any good but that's it I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and let it dry it's still a little damp but I don't want it to be wet down inside the spools up anyways can't beat that. I thought I was going to have to take this thing all apart and do all kinds of nonsense to it or change the spring or tighten the spring or something like that. And you don't have to do it. Just clean the stupid thing and you're done. All right. Like, subscribe, share, whatever. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.